Are you ready for the next guided tour? On the guided tour screen, please position the pointer to point to Why do I have windows? Be sure you're pointing to Why do I have windows? Now listen to the three tones and click the mouse button as soon as you hear the third tone. Open that disc one more time. The window through which you see the contents covers only part of the gray desktop, letting you see what else is on your desktop. Let's select the empty folder next and open that one too. A new window opens on top of the old one, showing you the contents of empty folder. While you're looking at what you have in empty folder, you may want to remember what you had on your disc. By clicking on the visible part of the other window, you bring that window to the front. The disk window is the active one now, and the folder window is inactive and hidden behind the disk window. To see the folder window again, point to the size box in the lower right-hand corner of this window. With this box, you control the size of the window. By holding down the mouse button and dragging the box, you can actually reduce or expand any window. This uncovers the folder window. You now can activate it by clicking where it is visible. Change the size of that one, too. When you have more than one window open, you know which one is the active one by looking at the title bar. The title bar of the active window is highlighted. By letting you have overlapping windows, your Macintosh makes the best use of your electronic desktop and can show the contents of several objects at once. You can also move these windows around. Point anywhere in the title bar of the active window, Press and drag, and you can move the window where you want it to be. Activate the other window next and move that one too by pointing in the title bar and dragging. To put away the folder window, first make it the active window by clicking anywhere in it and then click on the close box. Windows have another very important role on your Macintosh. They let you view something larger than the screen by letting you scroll it. The gray bars on the right side and at the bottom of your window are scroll bars. At each end of each scroll bar, there is an arrow. Point to the arrow pointing down and click, and you move the window down a little at a time to see what else you have on that disk. Point to the arrow at the top and click, and you can move the window up. There's a box in the scroll bar which moves up or down depending on the direction of the scroll. This is called the scroll box. You can also scroll by pointing in the gray area of the scroll bar and clicking. This moves you up or down faster than the individual clicks on the arrows. An even faster way to scroll is to point to the scroll box itself and drag it up or down. With the scroll bar at the bottom, you can do everything you just learned horizontally. You can scroll to the right or to the left. You can scroll fast or you can scroll slow. You now know why you have Windows. With Windows, you can view long documents by just scrolling at the speed you want. You can also examine the contents of various objects simultaneously. In fact, when you start using the various applications on your Macintosh, you'll find that you always work on your document through a window. The next guided tour begins in a few seconds. If you want to take a break now or imitate what you just saw and experiment with the tools you've just learned about, stop the tape recorder at the end of the next instruction. To get to your desktop, point to Let Me Use My Macintosh and click the mouse button. Stop the tape recorder now and start it when you're ready for more. <laughs> 